Hello everybody, I'm George from Ireland and behind me is the Ziggurat or is the headquarters of um, MI6 as in the United Kingdom's External Intelligence Service. So um, what, how would I describe that colour? It's a rather a very light beige and then this um, aquamarine or is it more greenish? What do you think? Uh, anyway, so this was built in the early 90s to house MI6. It previously had its headquarters at Century House um, beside Lambeth, uh, North Lambeth uh, Tube Station on Westminster Bridge Road. Richard Tomlinson published The, the Big Breach in 2001, uh, all about his time inside MI6 when it was at Century House and then after it moved here um, in the uh, mid 90s. So a new purpose-built site. The previous site was unsuitable for a number of reasons. It was too close to a tube station, it was beside a petrol station that could have blown up. And all right, this one is very as a Vauxhall Cross, very close to Vauxhall Tube Station and Vauxhall Mainline Railway Station. Uh, so uh, what, what else can I say about it? Well, MI6 was founded shortly before the First World War. There's also MI5, and MI5 is across the river diagonally. It's, a, it's this counterintelligence about capturing foreign spies in the United Kingdom. MI6 is about going out and spying overseas. So the officers work here. The officers are all British, had to be personally vetted, all the rest of it. You join straight from university, they want people with linguistic skills. They want people from ethnic and religious minorities um, who can penetrate places that um, white Britons can't penetrate quite so easily. Um, you, I think you have to be born in the United Kingdom, maybe your parents do as well, trying, trying to ensure loyalty. Um, and uh, what else? They look into your background to see that you're not a neo-Nazi or a communist or something like that. I would think probably libertarians wouldn't be terribly suitable either, opponents of government secrecy. Um, and they've got their own restaurant in there because I've read a number of memoirs of people who work there because they don't want the staff going out having lunch around here because if someone's trying to recruit them, that would be an e easy place to see them. But I mean, you could easily see who's going in there in the morning to see who's actually a member of it, but they could be watching you. Well, you, we know you've got their CCTV cameras. So I don't think I'm going to object to this. Um, like I filmed the other one, nobody minded. News cameras have filmed this one, obviously been in a Bond film and so on. Uh, and it was a subject to a terrorist attack 20 years ago when the Continuity IRA fired some rocket at it with no effect. I think it did absolutely minimal damage. So that's what MI6 is all about. The MI stands for military intelligence, but it's not just military, it's political, it's economic, it's secret information of all kinds they wish to find out from foreign governments and indeed terrorist organizations. The officer will, will be British, he'll be in London, he or she will go abroad occasionally as part of some operation. But um, what they want to do is they want to recruit agents who are inside that other organization who would be like an Iranian army officer, a Russian diplomat, a Chinese civil servant, a member of Al-Qaeda or ISIS or the Taliban or whatever. Someone who's inside that organization they wish to penetrate because he or she has access to information that MI6 don't. Um, as well as obviously their telephone intercepts, hacking into emails. I'm not sure what, how else they do it, covert filming. So cloak and dagger stuff. I would suspect not quite so exciting or glamorous as James Bond would have us believe. Probably, probably rather bland, prosaic, um, and geeky. It's increasingly technological and scientific. So graduates can join it. I think non-graduates can join it as well. People with ling linguistic skills or people who know a lot about whatever it is, engineering, IT, um, chemistry, things of that nature. So uh, I'm no, not, not a member of MI6, by the way, or MI5, nor have I ever been so. So this is just part of my general information about Londinium. Not surprising it isn't open to the public. And uh, when there are balconies, I think the people ever go out and those balconies look like not. I never see those windows open for reasons one might guess. And you see all the antennae up there. Apparently there's a sort of a super secure communications room they go into when they have to respond to a terrorist attack in, in London. Even though they're mainly about going out and um, gathering secret information on other countries, mainly spying on hostile countries. Also somewhat on friendly countries. Richard Tomlin says that they had a spy inside um, Deutsche Bank, or no, was it the German Central Bank, whatever it was, back in the days of the Deutsche Mark um, in the 90s. And this was important on Black Wednesday when um, the pound, uh, well, well, came out of the exchange rate mechanism. Because not spying on, on Germany the view to a war, no, but there's other useful information also in the run-up to negotiations, things like that. Anything that would be helpful to the government is what they, is what they gather. So, um, and you join them, we can save them for life, but obviously you must sign the Official Secrets Act and you mustn't be divulging um, uh, their secrets. There's a sort of omerta to joining. You can be jailed for breaking the Official Secrets Act as, as David Shaler was, as uh, Richard Tomlinson was, 
perhaps a few others. I'm not sure about Shayla's girlfriend, Annie Mahan. And David Shayla, he, he, he went absolutely mental later on. I happened to see him in Soho one time and declaring who was the Messiah or something like that. But that would simply be, add grist to the mill of MI6 saying he was a really unsuitable character or never been recruited. And he said he revealed what was in John Lennon's file. John Lennon's got a file in there um, saying the words to working class hero as though those couldn't be too easily accessed. Someone, someone else I know in the military who said um, he's had access to some of these secret intelligence files. A lot of it's actually public domain information just gleaned from newspapers. Um, so it's not all, is it actually all that secret. They're not the, the wizards you might think they are. And when they're in Libya trying to contact someone with regard to overthrowing Gaddafi, they managed to get captured by the other side. They weren't killed, were released unharmed in the end. Okay, so that's enough from me. So please follow my uh, YouTube account. Um, and donate to me very generously on PayPal. Urgently need donations to sustain the channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and so forth. I do guided tours of London other times. Thank you for booking elocution lessons. You know who you are. And I get uh, contacts about lessons all the time. All right, toodaloo.